So today guys we take a look at a weapon which received a buff within the April 2nd patch. The weapon is called the Tig's Boom and well it drops meteors on your enemies. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like it really helps me out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Tig's Boom shotgun is a weapon exclusive to the Maliwan raid upon dropping I believe from Walton the Invincible. It does come offering all elements and credit to Full Metal Kraken for the hookup on this variant. So the Tig's Boom is a weapon I covered way back and to be honest I do remember it being quite a beast back then. But if I remember correctly the Meteors is a weapon spawned glitch kinda either under the map or on top of the map. Sometimes just too high or sometimes under the map. It's since been buffed but when it was I didn't feel the need to re-review it. Since this beast was last in my hands on many many other shotguns have come to the forefront of the game in terms of well in the minds of many being the best weapons in the game. To name a few the lob, the anarchy and even the sequel assault rifle which acts a lot like a shotgun. I mean if you want a decent shotgun why look past all three weapons. And in reality every other one I've tested even if it's a good weapon it still don't match those three. So is this Tick's boom with this buff applied a contender? Well firstly let's discuss the actual changes applied to this weapon via this hotfix. Well its base damage has gone from a stat value of a 0.75 to a 1.4 which is almost it seems a 100% damage increase and we also saw an increase to the damage of the spawned meteors with their stat values going up from a 6 to a 8 so basically a 33% increase in damage on these. Now testing this against the test dummy the damage I could make out from these meteors seemed to be that of roughly 33% of the actual Tig's Boom initial shot both to the body and that crit spot and you get roughly 2 meteors spawned per hit. Now the Tig's Boom does consume 2 ammo per shot but it does fire multiple projectiles which indeed penetrate targets. Now although shots do indeed penetrate the meteors that spawn do aim for the initial target even if shots penetrate and move into the distance. Another thing I noticed about this also is its range, it doesn't seem to actually have any range fall off, it just keeps going as long as you can see which is decent too. Now the letdown for this thing is its mag size, it's just too small and you find yourself constantly reloading which is a shame. So after using this thing in multiple different scenarios this game throws at you, how would I rate this thing? Well firstly let me state, it isn't anywhere near the level of that in which the sickle, the lob or the anarchy offer, it just simply isn't. Yes the meteors are a nice addition and the shotgun itself besides the falling balls of elemental damage is quite powerful. Damage output wise, DPS wise, it is not to those standards. It is still a decent weapon for sure but in terms of being a top tier shotgun I think I'd have to pass on that one. This although is unique, the very thing that's unique about it doesn't suit a weapon that is as limited as this is. If we take a look at the Firestorm Sniper, it does the same kind of thing this does. But that's just way more efficient in the way it works and the way it's set up to be used. And this kind of trait suits a sniper way more than a shotgun playing this game. So my thoughts on this weapon, the Tig's Boom, yes it's decent, but there are simply just much better options out there. Even with its recent buff, it still falls short of what's on offer, which in my opinion are much easier to also obtain too. So the Tig's Boom is a fun weapon to watch in action. It's got semi-decent damage, the meteors are decent too but all in all it definitely isn't up there with the likes of the sickle, the lob and definitely not the anarchy. And on that note guys we have come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.